Hey, namaste, how's it going? So today I want to talk about living an empowered life and how, again, sometimes I think we get lost in words. We get lost in analyzing and over intellectualizing what is or what something means and recognizing that we ourselves as individuals are always the only one giving anything meaning, giving anything interpretation. And if we don't like how we feel, it really has nothing to do with what's going on externally, what's happening around us. Uh, the not feeling good or having a negative experience feeling uh, really has everything to do with how our mind is interpreting or perceiving the situation. And a perception often has to do with an uh, underlying belief, underlying belief system. So. Uh, one underlying belief system is that everything is separate, that we're just these uh, sort of robotic flesh and blood and bone, and we're moving around on this earth. And yet, with spirituality and the perceived progress of science, now we're looking deeper into the nature of reality and recognizing that the ancient teachings and the ancient wisdom were really on to something. There was really an essence of truthful um, fact, truthful reality from these teachings. And now as science catches up with that, or you could even say our own uh, human collective consciousness catches up with that, uh, we now have a much broader uh, spectrum of humans, individual humans, practicing the ancient wisdoms. And this is part for me of uh, the rise of spiritual teachers as, uh, I guess, consciousness leaders or um, way showers, you could say, as far as embodying the new paradigms or embodying the new belief systems. and using language like new or old, it's none of it really matters. It only has to do now. It's all to do with now, that really all of our perceived past projection of ancient wisdom is still all now, because now is the totality of all experiences. Now is the totality of all that is, and we are that. I am that, you are that. And so allowing ourselves to be that which is and all that we are allows us to experience a desired state of being. And so it's such an exciting time to come into a, a connection, a connected understanding of the nature of this reality. Because if we don't have an understanding or an awareness or even an intellectual capacity to feel into this reality, of course, uh, mastery or enlightenment or these ideas of super amazing people, that is only available for the few. And I think in this time what's happening is that the teachings are expanding to take in more, more of the humans having the experiences, I don't know, have been here long enough or have come in with a certain intention. And um, now is the time to for self-mastery, for recognition, for embodying the teachings, for embodying the understanding. And this is empowerment, I'm empowered, because I accept and recognize myself, because myself is all that I'm feeling and everything I'm seeing. So there's no separation. And the empowerment isn't about how you dress. It's not about um, what you do for a job. It's everything to do with how you feel about yourself. And also, I would say, our, our unified recognition that we are all or we all have access to empowerment and that it's a choice otherwise. So... As we become more self-responsible, as we hold each other accountable, as we continue to share our messages, as we continue to be more of who we are, then all of the webs, all of these important grids or connections that need to be made will naturally be made. 
and the world or the world that we're perceiving will continue to show us more of who we are, more of what we're creating. But to owning the recognition that there is no separation is a massive part of having the shift of consciousness, of having the shift of reality or how you're perceiving reality. Um, and so if you want to feel empowered in your life, take responsibility for as much of your life as possible. If you want to feel enlightened, focus on your breath and imagine bringing lightness into your body. Imagine being able to drop some of the seriousness of life, of life is hard, life is serious, life isn't fair, all that kind of stuff. Notice when your mind or in yourself, you're feeling or talking, you know, head speak, when you're going over those hard things in your mind, take responsibility for the fact that you created it. And it's not your mom's fault or society's fault or the government's fault. And it's not even your fault. There's a difference, you know. I think I did a vlog about the difference between fault finding or blame and self-responsibility because to me self-responsibility is quite light because it doesn't because there's really there's no right or wrong so I'm responsible yay look I'm responsible for all that joy I'm responsible for all that happiness awesome I'm also responsible for all that ick for all that those times where I really messed up or the, I'm also responsible for hurting that person and I'm responsible for hurting myself because it's one and the same thing so the more we can lighten up around our own existence, around our own reality, the more that we can actually um, not get so attached to any condition. And it's really only our attachment to the pain. It's only our attachment to the, uh, the d depression, the, the alcoholism, whatever it might be. It's only our attachment, our, our identified attachment, so I am that, I am the other, um, that makes us stick to it. Like, yeah, but I'm not, I'm not. Well, you are choosing to be that. So once we can own the choice making aspect of our reality and that no one else is making that choice for us, it's only us. I'm choosing this state of consciousness. I'm choosing this state of being. The more that we can take ownership of our own choice making uh, creatorship, then um, we have more empowered beings walking around. And, and to me, empowerment also means unconditional love. So we have more unconditional love radiating around the streets of our perceived unified world. So I hope that all makes sense to you. And I'm doing a talk today. I'm doing a talk uh, from my own space. So this is really exciting. And I'm feeling like these might be talks that I do record at some point. But uh, this is all really exciting 2016 oh my goodness I just feel like this is gonna be the most expansive year yet for many and that broader and broader teachings are gonna be available to people to the masses and I know <laughs> I know some of the awesomeness that I'll be experiencing this year and because I feel it because I know I am that as well. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, a wonderful month of January and this 2016 year. And I look forward to uh, crossing your path. I look forward to seeing you someday soon. Okay, um, peace, peace, peace. Namaste, take care. All to love. All to love.